lunar landscape. Harsh and unforgiving, with temperatures plummeting to a bone-chilling negative 280 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 173 degrees Celsius. A place where the very ground beneath your feet is a treacherous maze of jagged rocks and deep, shadowy craters. It's a world that seems impossible to traverse, let alone explore. But NASA and its intrepid partners are on the verge of conquering this final frontier. Enter the Lunar Terrain Vehicle, or LTV, a technological marvel that's about to change the game forever. This isn't just another rover, my friends. It's a state-of-the-art autonomous powerhouse designed to not only survive but thrive in the most extreme conditions imaginable. And it's not just a pipe dream. It's a reality that's unfolding before our very eyes. What's up, spacers? This is your specialist, the space technician. In this video, we'll go on a mind-bending journey through the cutting-edge technology, awe-inspiring science, and the visionary partnerships that are bringing the LTV to life. From its advanced power systems and autonomous navigation to its game-changing implications for lunar commerce and Mars exploration, we'll leave no stone unturned in our quest to bring you the most comprehensive and exhilarating look at this groundbreaking development. Remember, strapping in is optional, but recommended. Now, let's get down to business. NASA has selected three companies Intuitive Machines, Lunar Outpost, and Venturi Astrolab to develop the next generation of lunar rovers. These aren't just any ordinary vehicles, my friends. They're designed to help Artemis astronauts explore the moon like never before, conducting groundbreaking scientific research and paving the way for future missions to Mars. So, what makes the LTV so special? Well, for starters, it's going to be able to handle the extreme conditions at the moon's south pole. We're talking about temperatures that can drop to a bone-chilling negative 280 degrees Fahrenheit or 173 degrees Celsius below zero, and a landscape filled with treacherous craters and jagged rocks. But the LTV is up for the challenge, thanks to its advanced power management systems, autonomous driving capabilities, and state-of-the-art communications and navigation technology. Imagine this, Artemis astronauts cruising across the lunar surface in a sleek, high-tech rover. They'll be able to cover far greater distances than they ever could on foot, collecting samples and setting up scientific equipment along the way. And when they're not around, the LTV will keep on working, operating remotely to support NASA's ambitious research goals. But here's where it gets really interesting, my friends. The LTV isn't just a tool for NASA. It's also an opportunity for commercial partners to get involved in the Artemis program. Outside of NASA missions, the companies developing the LTV will be able to use it for their own lunar surface activities. Now, let's go over some of the technical details, shall we? First up, let's talk about the LTV's impressive payload capacity and range. This beast of a machine is designed to carry up to 500 kilograms, or 1,102 pounds, of scientific equipment, samples, and other precious cargo across the lunar surface. To put that in perspective, that's roughly the weight of a grand piano, or a fully grown grizzly bear. And with the ability to traverse distances of up to 20 kilometers, or 12.4 miles per day, the LTV will be able to cover more ground in a single lunar day than the Apollo astronauts did during their entire mission. That's a staggering feat of engineering, and it's just the tip of the iceberg. Now, let's talk about power. The LTV will be equipped with a state-of-the-art hybrid power system, combining high-efficiency solar panels and advanced rechargeable batteries. The solar panels will be made of cutting-edge flexible materials that can withstand the harsh lunar environment including extreme temperature fluctuations and radiation. These panels will be strategically placed on the rover's body to maximize their exposure to sunlight even when the sun is low on the horizon during the lunar dawn and dusk. But what happens when the sun sets and the long, cold lunar night begins? 
that's where the LTV's battery system comes into play. These aren't your average car batteries, mind you. They're specifically designed high-capacity lithium-ion batteries that can store enough energy to keep the rover's vital systems running for extended periods of time without sunlight. And here's the kicker. These batteries will be able to recharge themselves using a groundbreaking regenerative braking system. Every time the rover slows down or descends a slope, the motors will act as generators, converting kinetic energy back into electrical energy and topping off the batteries. It's like having a built-in perpetual motion machine. But what good is all that power and range if the rover can't handle the treacherous lunar terrain? That's where the LTV's wheel design comes into play. NASA and its partners have developed a revolutionary spring wheel concept that's unlike anything we've seen before. Instead of traditional rigid wheels, the LTV's wheels will be made of a flexible metal mesh that can conform to the contours of the lunar surface. Imagine a wheel that can hug the ground, maintaining maximum traction even on steep inclines or loose powdery regolith. But the innovation doesn't stop there. The metal mesh will be supported by a complex system of springs and shock absorbers, allowing the wheel to compress and expand as it rolls over obstacles. This give in the wheel structure will not only provide a smoother ride for the astronauts, but also help to minimize the risk of punctures or damage from sharp rocks. And if that wasn't enough, the wheels will also be equipped with special thermal coatings to help regulate their temperature and prevent the metal from becoming brittle in the extreme cold. Now, let's talk about the LTV's autonomous driving capabilities. This is where things get really exciting, my friends. The rover will be equipped with a suite of advanced sensors, including high-resolution cameras, 3D LiDAR scanners, and a host of other instruments that will allow it to perceive and navigate the lunar environment with unprecedented precision. These sensors will feed data into a powerful onboard computer, running sophisticated machine learning algorithms that can analyze the terrain in real time, identifying obstacles, plotting optimal paths, and making split-second decisions to keep the rover safe and on track. But what really sets the LTV's autonomous system apart is its ability to learn and adapt over time. As the rover explores the lunar surface, it will continuously gather data about its surroundings, building a detailed 3D map of the terrain that it can use to refine its navigation strategies. And here's the best part. This data will be shared with other LTVs and future missions, creating a collective knowledge base that will make each successive rover smarter and more capable than the last. It's like having a team of robotic explorers that can learn from each other's experiences and pool their intelligence to achieve even greater feats of victory. And that, my friends, is just a glimpse of the incredible technology that's going into the lunar terrain vehicle. But the true significance of this project goes far beyond the technical specifications. By developing and testing these advanced rovers on the moon, NASA is laying the foundation for a new era of space exploration that will take us to Mars and beyond. The lessons we learn from the LTV's successes and challenges will inform the design of even more capable machines that can withstand the harsh conditions of the Red Planet and help us unlock its many secrets. So there you have it, spacers. The Lunar Terrain Vehicle is set to be a game changer for NASA's Artemis program and the future of space exploration as a whole. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see this incredible machine in action, exploring the moon and pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the name of science and discovery. As always, thanks for joining me on this thrilling journey through the cosmos. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell for more mind-blowing space content. This is the Space Technician, signing off for now. And I'll see you, Space Cowboys, in the next one.